Boost alert, Storm Center updates. And the tropics heating up. I uh, think quite busy here across the Atlantic Basin. We have two tropical disturbances here out. Uh, one in the Central Atlantic, one in the those uh, now up to a 50% probability of development. We might see those become a depression there. Uh, they should have fairly good uh, development conditions here over the next few days. So we'll keep an eye on those. Those are, of course, way out there. Meanwhile, we're still watching the Gulf of Mexico, and it's not looking like our disturbance is very likely to organize into anything like a depression, but uh, we're likely to see a broad area of low pressure form in the Gulf. Again, this tropical wave is going to uh, be moving across the Gulf next week. Only a 20% chance of development, but we will be watching that. It's looking like what is most likely ha to happen now is our strong upper ridging uh, stays good and strong, which would uh, keep that moisture to the south of us and bring that much needed rainfall over to Texas. And of course, they are in need of some rainfall as well. Uh, there still is a slim chance that uh, we could see this uh, move closer to the Louisiana coastline. It is still early, but uh, as of now, the uh, consensus is more that most of that moisture stays to our south, but we should at least see some rain chances on the border next week at least some isolated rain chances but we'll uh, continue watching that and see uh, how that influences our forecast greg fernand and hillary meanwhile are out in the pacific so very busy in the pacific basin as well this is currently a tropical storm forecast to become a major category three hurricane as it heads towards the baja peninsula as a tropical storm and check this out uh, los angeles there in the cone of uncertainty you don't see that too often uh, could be impacting la by early next week as a tropical depression or or remnant low. Meanwhile, a nice break from the heat today. Our front that passed through uh, earlier was uh, yesterday is now down near the coast. We have winds now out of the east. Uh, really not much rain across the region today. Very, very dry air in place. See all the orange here? That indicates that dry air where our dew points have fallen into the 50s. And that is going to, the dry air is going to continue here tomorrow. But our upper ridge starts to build back to the east tomorrow. So we start to see those temperatures warm up. And as that ridge expands uh, to be right over us here for the upcoming weekend. We're looking at a very hot weekend here. We're going to be right back to where we started. And on Friday, that uh, heat index is back as well, up to about 110 here across the area. So uh, we'll continue watching this into early next week. Uh, but uh, hopefully we'll have some rain at some point, but just not seeing too much of a signal for any rain at this time. Uh, but those dew points staying refreshing tomorrow. They do start to climb heading into the weekend. But tonight, some nice lows in the 60s again for tomorrow morning, mid and upper 60s, and then highs tomorrow likely to return to 100 degrees for most of us. Could see some upper 90s, but a lot of us here uh, into the low 100s for Thursday. We do have a heat advisory for Rapids and Vernon, as well as Beauregard and Allen. That's actually not for a heat index. That's just for air temperatures up to 105. So that's not something we typically see, but it will be hot and very dry tomorrow with minimal heat index. Winds shifting to the northwest by the afternoon. Lots of sunshine and, of course, uh, no rain out there. And as we head into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, those should be some of our hottest days yet. Looking for a high of around 105 to 106. Heat index will be higher. And as of now, it looks like that ridging will be in place here into early next week. We do have some isolated rain chances on the board in that 10 to 20% range. Again, I'm hoping that uh, maybe I'll be able to